This is cool, right? If I start making aquariums like this, the aquascaping community will be fine with it, right? Okay, maybe there's another way. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a fun little throwback to my childhood. You see, despite them being pretty cheesy, I've always had a soft spot for air-powered mechanical ornaments. You know the ones, a, a diver stranded at the bottom of the sea, a dinosaur egg miraculously hatching underwater, and of course, my old favorite, the absolute classic treasure chest of gold. So it got me thinking, how can I emulate the satisfying feeling of a moving ornament, but make it look a bit more natural? And that's when I came up with this. Yep, oh, that's right, the completely natural aesthetic of a takeaway container on a piece of rock. And once I had an idea of how the ornament would sit, I drilled through the rock so that I could insert an airline hose, which I kept in place with a bit of filter floss. The basic mechanism relies on some cheap acrylic hinges, which I got on Amazon. I first secured the hinge with some duct tape, and then inserted a cigarette filter, which I then added super glue to, allowing a reaction to take place that secured the hinge and the container really solidly in less than 10 seconds. I then did exactly the same thing between the hinge and the rock, and now I had the initial build ready for some testing. Now I knew I would need some weight added to the takeaway container, and in the first instance I glued a small piece of rock to the front. Now it was time to find out if all my efforts so far had been a waste. And it was immediately clear that I would need a lot more weight if the container was going to return to its original position each time. So, after a quick test to confirm that more weight was the answer, I secured some more stone with super glue, and as long as the rock was positioned nice and flat, it seemed like we had a working ornament ready for some moss. I then used gel super glue to attach a variety of moss to the container. First, I attached some marimo moss, then some Christmas moss and finally some local moss that I found in a well. And then it was time for a simple scape. I just added some sand, placed the main ornament in the centre, added some additional rocks, a little bit of aquasol at the back, capped with sand, and then planted some bacopa, along with a bulbitis cutting which will attach itself to the rock. A quick flood of the tank, and it seemed like we were done. And of course, this is when everything started to go wrong. The tank looked nice, but when it came to switching on the air pump, well, this happened. And issues kept happening. I tweaked the position of the rock, and this happened and I tried adding a spring to the back of the moss stone, but it still didn't work. And I basically gave up, resigned to the fact that yet another video was destined for the dustbin. But then, the next day with some fresh eyes, I tweaked it one last time. The problem all along turned out to be the position of the hole I drilled, which meant too much air was catching in the container even after it had moved upwards. And we'd cracked it. It might not have been the prettiest solution, but pulling the air pipe out by an inch had made all the difference, and we no longer needed that metal spring that ultimately would have rusted. And so finally, I actually had something to show you guys. So yeah, it might not be the most practical air-driven ornament, and it creates quite a bit of mess, but it definitely looks more natural than my childhood treasure chest. 